All right, so we are going to cover another artist. I don't always do comic book art. Sometimes I like to do, uh, you know, fine arts. And who better to look at than Gustav Dorr? I tried to make this video already, and apparently my videos don't upload automatically at 4K, so I have to, like, edit it. But hopefully this one comes out correctly. I can already tell because, like, I have more room, which is pretty sweet. So hopefully you guys can see it. I don't know how long it's going to take to upload a uh, 4K video, but uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. So we're going to kind of just go through this very quickly. Gustav Dorr. Man, Dover? I've spent a ton of money on Dover publications. They make some of the best books. So Gustav Dorr, I'm assuming, was born in like the 1800s. So he was, you know, a later artist in comparison to guys like Albert Dürer. But I can definitely see a lot of inspiration from Albert Dürer. And man, I want to talk about an absolutely detailed artist. One of the most detailed artists I've ever seen. So much detail in his work. Hopefully you guys can see it. If not, I'll kind of push it to the camera if you can't. But uh, yeah, let's kind of just take a look at this real quick. Because this channel is all about just kind of showing off any kind of art. Whether it be comic book art, fine art. It's all art to me. The only thing I will not uh, cover is modern art. Not a fan of that. But uh, can't get any better than Gustav. I have... I did not actually know about Gustav for probably the longest time. And I found out about him, I think, because I, I had heard about the Divine Comedy. Never read it before, but I've heard about it. And apparently this is a kind of a great book to have. Sort of when you're uh, reading the story or listening to the story, I guess. So I kind of want to just go over some of these drawings. Amazing gesture, amazing form, solid artist. I mean, you know, you look at this environmental stuff, like trees and stuff. I hate drawing kind of any form of environmental stuff or trees or anything like that. I'm just not a fan of it. But you have to learn how to draw that stuff if you want to be able to be a master like this guy. One of the best. And the other thing that I love about this book is, obviously, other than I think Dover makes some of the best books out there, is you actually kind of see the growth towards, like, you know, this artwork towards the end of the book. I, I don't know if it was done over a period of time. You know, if it's later art, I'm not entirely sure, but great stuff. Had to have been inspired by guys like um, Albert Durer. He reminds me a lot of William Rimmer, too. I actually bought uh, William Rimmer's, uh, which is also a Dover book, uh, Anatomy book, which I've been learning a little bit from that. Love that. Love the uh, scapula and the muscles around. And this is one of my favorites. Looks absolutely evil. I love it great stuff guy who really knew his form you know when they talk about form when they talk about gesture and form this guy understood it completely that's the thing is when you're drawing you know trying to wonder why I see your all your stuff looks flat in the beginning because you kind of deal with that problem why does my stuff always look flat well the reason why it looks flat is you're just not adding form to it you know because we are three-dimensional we live in a 3D world, and you're kind of putting, you know, 3D stuff on a piece, on this flat piece of paper. And you got to figure out, well, how do I figure that out? Just learn how to draw form. Learn that perspective. Perspective is probably the most important skill you can learn when you're a beginner artist. If you ever want to start drawing, you know, if you're just looking at the art and go, man, I wish I could do something like that. Just start with perspective. When you get perspective down, you'll be drawing those cubes and those cylinders perfectly in perspective. And then put a little bit of anatomy on top of it, a little more form on top of it, which is just anatomy. So, you know, solid anatomy, you're good to go. The gesture part, I think, is actually one of the hardest parts. And understanding overlapping, you know, kind of understanding that, you know, this leg here you know, overlaps the pelvis, so you kind of, like, go around it, 
can have cross contour right in front of it. Overlap is a very difficult one to understand too. Once you understand that perspective and that overlap and that gesture, you're pretty much there. You know, obviously there's things like uh, shading, stuff like that, but... I, mean, I just look at this stuff and I go, there's no way that Tolkien was not inspired by this stuff. And look at that. Great art. Just amazing stuff. And all he's using is just, you know, cross hatching, cross contour lines. None. There's no shading going on on some of the. Well, there's shading going on there, I guess. But, you know, some of those figures, except for, I guess, there's some shading going on there. So never mind, I lied. Great stuff. Love those muscles. Love the striation of the muscles. Great stuff. Absolutely amazing stuff to look at. If, you're, if you want to get inspired, if you want to be an artist, if you are an artist, kind of feeling, ah, man, I'm just not feeling it today. Well, I feel that way a lot, too. I'm pretty consistent with my drawing. I try to draw at least, uh, you know, a certain amount, of, like three to four hours a day if I can to kind of learn. By the way, just kind of look at that. I mean, that's an example of the form. You can see that under ridge of that rib cage. That right there is form. It doesn't look flat. It looks like a three-dimensional shape. Is it right? Yeah, I would say it's right. At least from my perspective. I am no, I am no uh, master. I am still an amateur, of course. But uh, great stuff there. Great environmental stuff. Great kind of making you feel like you live in this world. This disturbing world it's pretty much i think it is hell I'm not very I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure it's like the seven levels of hell or whatever ripping himself open and this guy appears just kind of like yeah whatever seen this a million times kind of used to it probably an old soul if you will love just a simple gesture well not simple it's a very advanced gesture but this is the kind of stuff that when you go to figure drawing classes people want you to draw like that this is a this is the uh this is what I I bought it for, because I thought that art style, that art was so cool. Great stuff. I mean the muscle the muscles the pec you know look at the pec muscles, just amazing stuff the bumps and the pecs, absolutely amazing. I go get the stuff all day. The great thing about these Dover books is they're actually quite cheap. I think you can pick this one up for probably like 12 bucks. And it's actually pretty big. Not going to be a good day for that guy. I can tell you that right there. Not a good day for that guy right there. Here's the stuff that I really love. These, these cross contours around the form. Hopefully you can see that. That's the kind of detail and stuff that you really love. I mean, what an amazing drawing. Imagine sitting down drawing something like that. I think you would be a master at that point. I think you would. Uh, you should be making a lot of money if you're at that point. Love that beard. Love that hair. Yeah. Hair is difficult to fucking draw. Very difficult stuff to draw. I just love the darkness. You know, I think when I think of Gustav Dor, I think of like Dark Souls or Demon Souls or Elden Ring. Very dark stuff. Yeah, that's kind of just two different drawings depicting different things. Great stuff. They're very similar, but they're also very different. Look at that. Man, look at that. Such a darkness, too. I mean, it's, it's a lot of shading going on. Big environments. Big, big environments. Lots of rocks. Ro lots of mountains. You know, amazing stuff. Love the trees. Absolutely amazing drawings of trees. Love the the guy in the, like the armor set. Wonderful stuff. Yeah. What an amazing artist. One of those guys that you just look at and you go, either you're going to inspire me today or you're going to make me want to quit. But don't quit because eventually, I'm assuming that in time, if you continue drawing... And you're just inspired. You could be great too. Just gotta keep going. I should be talking though. I haven't uploaded a video since like September. Look at how you know. Look how thin those bodies are. Amazing stuff. Love it.
of that darkness and the light coming off. Mainly dark and a lot of light. Very ambitious, but pulled it off. Now we're kind of in, and look at what an amazing drawing there. A little faded, I think. I don't know if that's from a copy of an original, but still looks great. Not as dark as the rest, but I think we're getting into that lighter stuff now. We're getting into like angels and stuff. I mean, look at the creativity of just creating animals like that. Where do you get these ideas in the 1800s? You don't have the stuff that you have now. Like, guy's brilliant. Absolute genius. Look at the bodies on top, you know, the Jesus in the middle with the angels around. Great stuff. If you get the chance to kind of get this book from Amazon or something, you absolutely should. It's very, very cool. I got mine used, I think, from like thrift books or something you can tell because it looks like somebody took a shit on it. But, man, what an amazing book. I know I went through it quite quickly, but... Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cover more stuff than just kind of comic books and fine art. I, like I said, I want to do a uh, an overall, you know, how to draw a book, you know, my recommendations for how to draw books and stuff like that. So uh, that's coming soon. And hopefully I'll be a little bit more uh, consistent than I've been in the past. And I want to just say 402 subscribers. That's absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you continue to uh, enjoy the stuff I put out.